This is a quick tutorial on using the LTS 6080. First of all, we do all of our separations for simulated process through UltraSeps version 3. Definitely a powerful program I su suggest you getting. All the files for simulated process need to be 200 to 300 DPI. The most important thing, the background needs to be transparent. Definitely avoid working uh, with your artwork in CMYK mode at all costs since it destroys the color. Always work in RGB mode. When sending the file, make sure the PSD file is in one layer and call that layer zero. And here's a good example. Um, this is a design that I've done here and you can see layer zero. There's the separation UltraSteps uh, actions. Uh, we'll do this one, what we call UltraSim process one and it's basically click and go. And you'll see it go through and do the separations for this file. Now that it's done, you're gonna go in there and eliminate colors that you don't need. Once you go through that process, it'll go to the next step and that is sending it to the rip. Since these shirts are gonna be on different color shirts, we're gonna eliminate all the underbases except the last one, which is called white base for non-blacks. Now, we found a bug in the beginning of using the LTS. It did not like parentheses when it went to the rip. So take that and edit that. That's the only thing you need to do is make sure you edit and take those parentheses out. Everything else, I'm gonna eliminate some of the colors and get it down to how we want, and then we'll send it to the rip here shortly. I'm gonna eliminate colors we don't need, for example, green. Uh, I'm not happy with the gray on this. We're gonna eliminate that. The brown gives us three choices of black. I'm gonna delete all of them except the light black. I can adjust that on press. Uh, any other adjustments I will do uh, inside of the curve channel under adjustments, and you can learn this in ultra subs. So let's say I want the red to be a little bit more predominant. I'm gonna adjust the curve. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the other red. Um, so now I'm ready to do the separations. Before I do that, we need to add the crop marks. I'm also gonna eliminate the shirt background color. Don't need that anymore. We're gonna add the crop mark. So for us, we personally like to have the register marks at 0.38. They're big enough to see on press. Uh, we found that our success rate has been better lining jobs up with this uh, size of crop mark. Now that it's done, here's the next step on sending it to the rip. So we're gonna hit save as. And we actually have a folder we're gonna make up here. Uh, we'll just call it test for right now. We're gonna save the file as a Photoshop DCS 2.0. We're gonna save that file inside here. Very important. This step right here, change it to multi-file DCS, no composite. And just hit okay. All right, so now it's saving the file. One thing you wanna do is go up to image size and see what the size of the image is. Very, very important. For the next step is Illustrator. You're gonna create a new page based off these measurements. So we're gonna go 13 by 1278. Hit create. All right, so I'm gonna find the file and we're gonna place it here. So we're gonna hit place. We're gonna go and find the file that we saved in Photoshop. It'll be an EPS file. See that EPS file? It's gonna read it. We're gonna place it right here in the corner left, left side. And there it is. Now, I want you to go File, Save As. And we're gonna just call it Test. We're gonna save it as a PDF. Now, on our server, you can see the different options here. We always go to 55 LPI 1016. And we save it as a PDF file. Hit save. It's gonna come up one prompt here and hit save PDF. 
So right now it's saving and it's ripping to the software. Um, we're gonna go to the back and burn a screen and then we'll look at this so on pressure. We're back at the dark room. We're gonna open file. There's the files that I just got these sending. Let's do the light black. So one thing we talk about is the mesh count. Normally the underbase is gonna be on a 230. Uh, we use retentionables. Um, all of our color screens are probably gonna be in a 305 range and then uh, the highlight white will be a 230. Uh, so this black, we're gonna set at 305 mesh. It's set. Uh, we're gonna rip. And that's what's happening now. We're gonna hit output. And then confirm, okay? It'll come over here and start here in just a few minutes. And this is a 305 mesh screen. And that takes, right now I've got that set. Takes about two minutes to burn this one. So once we burn this, we're gonna wash it out and you'll see it on press here shortly. So one thing we did is we did a double highlight white. Like I said, we can control it from the press a little bit better. If I wanted it to be more red, I'll increase the pressure, maybe do two strokes, but we're trying to get it all in one stroke. There it is on gray. 